garden and I'm going to plant some beans. What I have is just today is improved pinto beans. Now these seeds have been around a little while, so it's not fresh seed. They need used. So I've got the, we've had the rolls laid off here beside the potatoes, which is over on that way. And so I'm going to take these beans and I'm going to put two seeds. And I'm going to, I'm old and tired, so I'm not going to do it real close. So I'm going to drop two seeds about every four to six inches. And I want them pretty thick because I want to make sure they come up. But if you put two seeds together, they, they help each other. They, they help push the dirt, the soil up off of them when they come up and, and it just helps them to come up better. We're just going to, I'm just going to drop two seeds just pretty close because I want a good stand of them. And we, we garden the old timey way out here. I know everybody has those big fancy, I don't say they're big, but those raised beds and all this kind of stuff. But I always, I don't know how you grow enough in one of them things. Just, we just have a big garden because we want to grow enough to have enough, uh, enough to cut away, to cut up to eat till the next growing season. Bugs in my ear. But anyway, that's the way we drop them, and I'll go all the way up the row. Then I'll have to take my hole, and I don't want to cover them too deep because I want them to be able to, to poke up through, and I'll just pull some dirt up over them and cover them just like that. Now, these improved pintos I'm planting are a hybrid, so you wouldn't really want to save seed from them, but, you know, you can plant the the seeds out of the grocery store, the dried beans out of the grocery store, and they come up too. So anyway, I thought I'm going to do three rows, and you can see my rows are kind of long, so I'm going to get back at it. But just going to give you a crash course on, on planting beans in a southern hillbilly garden.